Hey guys, this is my post Binks passing day. And, um, you know, it's a little better than yesterday, but it's still been hard and icky. I, of course, didn't sleep well. Because it gets into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind's trying to process it and kind of also going, no, it can't be. So <clears throat> it's a process grieving. Um, hi, I'm Kaylin, in case you are new to my channel, the author of The Parapolis Bond. And yesterday, if you didn't catch it, my golden conure passed away. He just wasn't a year old and uh, he was really magical. It wasn't expected. He had had a surgery and it looked like he was coming out of it. It had been four days since the surgery and I thought he was getting better. Um, I really want to thank everyone for posting. It's made a big difference. I think that you know, I didn't realize that Binks' magic really, in some ways, I think it went beyond my house and and went, you know, in a way, onto YouTube. But the other thing is, it's, it's also been really nice reading everyone's comments because, you know, a couple of you said, you know, you have us here and we know what it's like to lose a bird and um, it's true. It's really true. I, I think if you've ever lost anyone or a pet, you know what it's like, but I don't know. Birds are different. I don't know if you've ever caught any of the mems. I've seen a couple variations of them. They're kind of a crack up. People say, um, you know, like, why is it that you go from one parrot to two to 17? <laughs> and I have, a, I have a theory about that. And my theory is that parrots are flock animals. And you just, when you get a parrot, you don't know it. You think you're the, you know, the what, the master or whatever. I don't know. I like the word keeper. Um, you're the parrot keeper, but I think that, um, and, and you do, you have to keep and take care of them, but um, <clears throat> I think that their parrotness kind of permeates you, and if you also have like, you know, or went from one parrot to two parrots to 17 to more, um, you know, I think you, you know what I'm talking about, like, it's almost like the hive mind or the collective. <laughs> I've been assimilated. I'm, I'm like a flock member now. So, <clears throat> um, you know, that, I don't know if you guys have caught that, but I think that for that reason, if you've had a parrot, you know that it's, it's different, right? I mean, I think losing anything is different. Losing a, someone in your life is different. A person losing an, a dog is different, you know, Everything's different, but losing a parrot is definitely different, especially one that's so magical. So I really appreciate, and I'm really touched by those of you that said Binks touched you too. That's just so cool. But anyway, so today I'm, you know, trying to take care of the rest of my flock, and I've got the back of my yellow naked Amazon. I don't know where the front went. Um, and I have her because I'm going to go take a rest. I did not, you know, rest well. And she's, she chose me and she's just my, my daughter used to call her my shadow. Now she calls her my Demogorgon because, you know, one thing that was so cool about Binks is Golden Conyers are communal breeders, which means that like if you have a male and a female Golden Conyer, they may very well breed, but you really either have to have three or more. Like they're just communal, not, um, and they're not, I guess, monogamous. And with Golden Conyers, I don't know, like whoever's in the nest, 
raises the babies. It's not just mom and dad kind of thing. So because of that, Golden Conyers are really great in the sense that they're just loving with everyone. Whereas Amazons are the antithesis. They are one, they're, or they're notorious for being one person birds. It doesn't mean everyone is, but she is. And so she's also known as my Demogorgon because she's been known to be kind of nasty to people who come within a, like, you know, I don't know, within two feet. <laughs> And it's like she gets really protective, like, this is my Kaylin. I'm going to bite her if you don't get away. Uh, yeah, and I don't much appreciate that. Go figure. But anyway, she, she, my daughter used to call her my shadow because she chose me. And she's just, she's really sweet to me. And so I'm going to go rest with her because she just will stay right here with me. And it makes me feel good. So, I mean, I think that's one of the things our parents are so good at. They're so good at making us feel loved, right? Even when we judge ourselves, even when we have a bad day, even, you know, like no matter what, it's kind of like a proverbial dog, man's best friend, so to speak, that just always loves you. And I, I think parrots are very similar. Tico is doing okay, but I think he's sad too. And I hadn't realized it before Binks, but I think that... Um, you know, I think Tico, my Amazon, who is buddies with Binks, I think he likes Conyers. Binks was great because it was a Conyers that was like almost his size because Tico is bigger. And so now he's back in the bird room, I, I'm hanging out on the cages where there's some Conyers. Um, and I rotate the conures, I take them outside, I take them up to my office. But, um, you know, I don't know, in the meantime, Tico's there and they're just so much smaller. Binks was really a good size and uh, like, Tico really seems to like the Crimsons. And the Crimsons are, they're like 20 grams more than green cheeks and green cheeks are like 60 to 80. So they're like 80 to 100 or 70 to 90, something like that. And um, she's bigger than Tico. She's like 430, 430 grams. And I forget how much smaller Tico is. Um, he's probably upper 300 grams kind of thing, like 350 plus. So you can imagine, he's like, he actually, he looks like he's more than three times their size. But I think he's kind of looking for a new friend. And so, uh, you know, I feel for him because, I don't know, what's he gonna do? He's, you know, he's not really gonna befriend, I don't think, a little Conyer. But, and I mean, it, it can be done, it has been done. However, and actually, one of the Crimsons, he really could befriend, but I don't know, you know, we'll see. We'll just see what happens. I, I don't know how comfortable I would feel befriending someone who was at least three times bigger than me, but looks, had, I think five times bigger on the other hand I I'm you know more than five times bigger than Lorenza and she likes me so who knows anyway um you know today I cleaned out Binks's cage I you know took it out and cleaned it with the pressure washer and that is what it is in a way you know taking action and keeping busy taking care of my flock is actually kind of helping and I was actually thinking about my flock for that reason. Uh, I just, <laughs> it's not every day, but I often say to my husband at night, have I told you that I really like my birds? I really love my parrots. He's like, yeah, you've mentioned it once before. And I've also said to him that we're so lucky in this time frame to have access to such incredible parrots. 50 years ago in the 70s, I think they were starting to bring parrots in or maybe they were importing them a lot. But that means that, you know, like I think 20 years before that, I think there were some, but not a whole lot. Oh, there's my Amazon's front. <laughs> Much nicer than the back. 
And, you know, a um, hundred years ago, or 200 years ago, or whatever, sometimes they would catch a parrot, um, I think like, like an Amazon. I'm trying to remember, oh, it's an Indian ringneck. Uh, you know, there's like, in a, not Roman, but something like that ancient yeah. something, something. There's like a picture of a um, an Alexandrian and it got its name from like Alexander the Great because somebody brought him an Indian ringneck or, a, sorry, an Alexandrite and therefore it got yeah. named after him. But, you know, so there, there's like these kings and queens kind of thing, emperors yeah. that had access or were gifted exotic parrots and now you know you and I have access to a lot of them and maybe you can't I mean maybe if you're in a state where you don't have a lot of access you know I exaggerate a little for you perhaps but in other words you could fly to California Florida Texas and get a parrot if you wanted it's so feasible and you know I, for most of history, it has been just out of the question kind of thing. I mean, I, I, I hate to think about how many parrots died on their way to a king or queen. And my understanding is, you know, before they really started to get an understanding of them, they, most of them either didn't make the journey or died soon after. So, I mean, that's kind of sad, very sad. But my point is... I often sit there and go, I am so grateful. I mean, I have a parrot from like every continent, from the Americas, from Africa, from um, Australia, from Asia. It's phenomenal. They're incredible. And so I, I just was thinking about that today and, and that kind of really, really helped because it's just so incredible. I mean, I, I, we're we're really lucky we have just access to so much it's not just parrots like your computer and a cell phone and all these other crazy things we shot we saw a documentary on tesla since we named one of our capes tesla and um you know they i think they thought tesla had gone crazy or something because he had these crazy ideas like um i think he was it the was it uh, I don't know if he invented electricity, like being able to channel it, a circuit, um, a two-way circuit. Before that, they only had a one-way. And so at first, he, he kind of like did really well, but then he had ideas about how, I think the telephone would be wireless, like how you wouldn't need the circuit to connect the, the electricity kind of thing. In other words, it would just travel through the air. Like, how crazy is that? And of course, that's what we have now with our cell phones. And, you know, so I just think we're really fortunate. And while yesterday still just sucked, um, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful to have all the parts that I do have. And um, <laughs> I'm grateful to you guys for watching the darn ads. They help, you know help support my flock a lot of which eat nuts and I can't believe how expensive nuts are and um, so it encourages me to do more videos so I really appreciate that and I really enjoy them as always if you have anything that you want me to talk about let me know ah yeah Peter Gabriel uh, has a song if you know who that is um, about death and part of the lyrics say you know life goes on and on and on like after the death and it's so true it's like that's another thing I thought about today it just feels weird you know it's like I don't know it kind of feels like th some things just stopped yesterday so but life goes on with the rest of my flock and you know new adventures new things I have some babies, some parrotlets, um, a couple green sheet conures, and uh, one pair of green sheet conures that are turquoise and 
she's like cinnamon turquoise, I think. They make beautiful babies, and, and they're, they just laid eggs. Uh, and I think I'm going to take a break from breeding after this. I'm getting a little burned out on feeding the babies and feeling like, do people take care of them? So, you know, that's another thing. I want to thank all of you guys that are here because you guys all obviously are fid crazy. And I know that you guys are taking care of your parrots and you're learning, you know, I mean, I know you're on YouTube because you're trying to learn and figure out new ways to improve things and, you know, that kind of thing. And I, that's my passion. That's a part of my mission is to, you know, help people enjoy their parrots and be as blissful as I am. Not yesterday and today. I, I have a get out of bliss jail card for a little while. But that means a lot to me. Um, it, it just really means a lot to me because, because parrots are my bliss. So anyway, any questions or comments down below or on Facebook, Instagram, or join the Parrot Bliss group, um, sorry, Parrot Bliss Flock group at Facebook or um, visit me at parrotbliss.com where you can also get Tink's Must Have Oil. Thanks for joining me yesterday and today. It has meant a lot these two days. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.